William Casso. Uh, how can I describe my work? Uh, Eversol artist, painter, muralist, community organizer, a little bit of everything, but I'm primarily a painter. That's what everyone knows me for. I remember I used to draw, you know, like Superman, like uh, Flash. It was, you know, it wasn't anything like detailed like I do now, obviously. I was like five. But I remember people in my class used to always ask me to draw them pictures. And that was my earliest memory of art. And I remember in first grade, I remember this one incident where it was around Christmas time. You know, we had to do this art project, but we had to do like, you know, our classwork first. So I just rushed through my classwork to do the art project. And I wound up getting everything wrong. But then, I even knew then, like, art was something that, I, that was going to be a big deal in my life. Like, I came up during the crack era. In, like, the early, mid-80s was like, when, when crack hit, was like when everything started to change. You know, I was about maybe seven, eight years old when that hit. But just the way the whole dynamics of my neighborhood went, it's like, you know, we, me and my brother used to wake up early in the morning, go play in a project, play baseball. When crack came in, we couldn't do none of that stuff, you know. Pops like, yo, you can't walk to the store unless you with your brother. A lot of my friends I grew up with start selling dope. You know, cousins, the whole nine, you know what I'm saying? Family members getting strung out on that shit. You know, it's like, so I've always used art as a way to just keep me, um, to keep me grounded, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? It kept me without, it kept me out of the streets. You know, that was the cool thing about art for me. Like, I use it as an escape. formed VS Crew, you know what I'm saying, Vicious Styles Crew, um, and then from there, you know, we started doing legals the whole nine, and then it got to a point where what I started to notice is that all the walls we would do, you know, we had a few walls, we just paint over them, paint over them, and do another production. I'm like, yo, that's cool, but let's just go take these abandoned spots, like nobody's using them, and Trenton, you know, never had a graffiti problem. So I knew from there, it was like, wow, like the only thing people know about graph is what they see us doing. And it was always legit. So who would be, who would even think twice to be like, okay, these guys are doing something illegal, especially if we're doing it during daytime, like, let's take the risk. We're going to call ourselves graph is, and let's take the risk. You know what I'm saying? Keep, keep trying to make Trenton beautiful. It's not good at houses. You know? Yeah. You know, put it up building. I seen him from uh, start to finish, and man, it's amazing. He's just so, he's so good at it. It's just like, it comes so natural to him. I mean, it's amazing the, 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 the artwork that he does. It's just amazing watching him do it. just a, um, a painting now. It's like we're literally affecting the way people feel. So that is deep for me. I don't even feel like I'm breaking the law anymore. Yeah.